All right, what's up everyone? And welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to cover something that a lot of people have been asking me about, and that is some of the Turtle Wax brand hybrid solution products. Now, I did a video recently um, about you know, the different ceramic wax products out there, and the Turtle Wax product really surprised me. Let me grab it real quick. So this one here, guys, the Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused Ceramic uh, Wax. It's really surprised me. It went on very, very well, it was super slick, did a great job. Uh, like I said, it's just, it, it performed better than I honestly expected it to. And that made me really interested in the whole hybrid solutions lineup from Turtle Wax. So I went to O'Reilly, I don't know if you guys have O'Reilly where, wherever you're at, but local auto parts store, and I spent like a, almost 200 bucks on all the uh, Turtle Wax hybrid solutions products they had. So we're gonna be looking at those um, over time here, but the three that I wanna focus on today um, all kind of fit in the same category, and that's why I wanted to cover them, see which one I think is the best one out of these three. So number one is Turtle Wax hybrid solutions, Ceramic spray coating. First one here, guys. We're gonna test this out, see how it works. We're gonna put that up compared to this one. This is their Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused uh, Ceramic Spray Wax. So again, this is the same exact, essentially the same product here, This just a spray-on version. So we'll see how this compares. Um, and then the last one is the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Ceramic 3-in-1 Detailer SiO2 Ceramic Infused product here. So if you're at your local store and these three options are there, you may be like, hey, which one, which, what's the one I want? So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna kinda just play with them a little bit, see how they apply and all that kind of good stuff. I am going to be applying these to my new car. I hinted at uh, this new car uh, previously. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the picture of it there, but let's go ahead and take a look at it now. So this is my new to me 2015 Porsche Cayman. Now I know some of you may be upset with me that I say Porsche and not Porsche. I don't know, it's just Porsche sounds right to me. I know I think technically it is Porsche, but for me, Porsche is the world where I'm at. Don't hate me for it. Um, but again, this is the base model um, and it is a sp six speed manual transmission. I absolutely love the car, it's super, super fun and um, I'm really enjoying it. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, now the car has just been rinsed down. Uh, as far as paint work goes, it's not perfect. Um, I, I, I actually haven't even touched this thing other than just watch it, washing it. Um, just the previous owner took really good care of it. Now the paint, like, like I said, it's in really good shape. Um, it's smooth, I did not clay it. I wanted to give a fair representation of these three products um, for the majority of people. I think the most people are gonna uh, be applying this in this type of situation. The car's not gonna be perfect. Um, but it'll be in a good state like this, and uh, so I want to give it the most like real-world scenario here. Uh, but basically, I'm going to apply one of the products on one side of the hood, another product down the middle, and then the third product on the other side. I'm going to be driving the car around, and uh, then we'll be testing it out kind of as we go to see how they perform, how they last, all that kind of good stuff. So today's video is more so going to be on the application, how it feels going on. You guys all know that I really, really love Technician's Choice Ceramic Detail Spray. I'll link that in the description for you guys as well. Um, I buy it in bulk, so the price per ounce is super good for me, especially as a professional detailer. I, I love that fact about that product. Um, and also, I love the way it goes on. Super easy to apply, very, very slick. Um, and I, I love that stuff. So we're gonna test these out now. For these, for these two, uh, the ceramic spray coating and then the graphene, they both do say wash and dry the car. You do wanna apply them dry. Um, however, it does state that you can also apply them wet, but for the initial coating, you wanna do it to a dry panel. It's just load up a towel and rub it in. You're gonna get the best adhesion, the most, uh, most product onto the panel that way. Um, now this one does recommend doing uh, two coats. So let me just look at the directions here. It just says to use two sprays per panel, spread and wipe with a clean folded microfiber cloth, and then use a separate microfiber cloth to remove, uh, and to apply a second coat for 12 months of protection. So for 12 months of protection, to get a full year of protection out of this, they're saying just to use two coats. Now, do I think it's actually gonna last a full 12 months? Probably not in this sense, but the good thing about these types of products is they're so easy to apply that you can just easily apply them with every washing. You don't have to worry about it lasting 12 months because you can just easily apply it. Um, the, the Flex Graphene style one, uh, same exact situation. It doesn't say anything about a second coat, uh, but it does say once you do that initial base coat, 
Now from there, they actually have uh, a one step and a rinse wax application for it as well. After that initial base coat is done, it just says while the car is, say you wash the vehicle down, rinse it all down, it's still wet, apply two sprays per panel and dry it down. Again, I do that a lot with the ceramic detail spray as well. So same type of application here. And then uh, finally, it does say as a rinse wax, again, after it's washed, rinse down, you can spray this um, onto it and then essentially rinse it off right away. What that water is doing is it's going to be pushing it around, getting you nice, good, even coverage, and then dry, and you're good to go. We're not going to be getting into that yet. We're just going to be doing that initial base coat with both of these. And then the same thing for the third product, which is the three-in-one ceramic detailer. So the three-in-one is they have polymers for waterless watching that will encapsulate dirt. They have synthetic wax uh, polymers that increases depth of color and shine. And then they have the SiO2 in it. Um, the boost the water being and all that kind of good stuff. So similar thing there, application on this one is really more guided to using it as a waterless wash. Um, so that's obviously the difference here, but can we use this in, in, in place of those two? That's what we're gonna test and find out to see if this is a good option for you. So basically what I'm gonna do guys, um, I'm not gonna be spraying directly on the panel. I'm gonna spray onto the towel, spread it in, and then buff it out. And then I'll talk, just kind of talk to you guys about the application process, how it feels going on, how slick it is, all that kind of good stuff and then uh, we'll test it out over the next uh, few weeks here. So to apply these products, I just have some microfiber towels here. These are the ones that I, uh, I talk about them all the time. I sell these on my site, but I also can list a uh, very similar towel that's available on Amazon. But basically it's a uh, 300 GSM 80-20 blend and it is edgeless, meaning there's no edge to that. It's just a laser cut edge and there's no tags on it. The reason I like that so much is because it just reduces any chance of marring the paint because there's no edge or tag. I really love that. Now, if you are using this product and you're using it as a waterless wash, you do want to go with a little bit thicker of a, or a longer pile so it can use the fingers of the microfiber to grab everything so it reduces any risk to the paint. Um, but in this situation, the paint is, has been washed and we're just using this as the protection to see how it goes. And so I will be using different towels for each section so we're not gonna have any cross-contamination. Um, I'm not gonna go super scientific on this. I'm not gonna tape it off. This is a, my car and I'm gonna be driving it. But I will just apply, we're gonna do driver's side. We're going to do the hybrid solution ceramic spray coating. Middle section, we're gonna use the three-in-one. And passenger side, we're gonna be using the graphene. Okay guys, so number one, spray coating, uh, spray ceramic. Again, I'm going to be applying this onto, I'm gonna shake it up, apply it onto a microfiber towel. I'm gonna to get this decently damp. There we go. Just because I'm not spraying directly onto the panel, so I wanna have a good amount on there. There we go. Definitely does not smell as good as the ceramic detail spray. It actually smells uh, a bit more industrial, like it smells more like a traditional ceramic coating. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this. Just wipe it in. So far it doesn't feel super slick, but it's still a little bit thick right now. So it seems to be flashing out really, really well. I'm just gonna flip the towel and buff that in. And it's flashing out, no high spots, really, really easy to work with. So that is fantastic so far. All right, we are all done with that one. So only used one towel because I was able to flip it. Now next up, we're gonna be using the three-in-one. Again, this product, if we were using it as a waterless wash, you would wanna spray, spray it directly onto the panel. But in this situation, again, we're just gonna be applying it with the towel. It smells very similar to the other product, maybe a little bit more fruity, but very similar. So I'm gonna be reaching over to this midsection here and applying it. Looks very similar, looks a little thinner, I would say than the last one did. The last, last one definitely had more of a coating type of a look to it. Not crazy, but um, more of a coating look than this one does. Now this is flashing out super, super well. I don't see any reason almost to even flip the towel, but I'm going to just to buff it out because that's what it says. And we are good to go, nice and applied. Again, flashed out super, super well. Not super slick, definitely not as slick as the ceramic detail spray, but it does feel very, very good. So last one up now, guys, is the graphene. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake that up. You definitely wanna shake, especially with graphene, it, they tend to separate. It's a darker color. It tends to separate and settle. So you definitely wanna shake that up so you get a nice even distribution of the graphene. Okay, so here we go. Again, just a couple sprays onto a towel. 
Okay. And now our final side, the passenger side. So go ahead and wipe this in. Now this definitely seems much watery, much more watery than the initial uh, ceramic did. If it is, I don't know, but it just, it just appears to be thinner to me than the other one did. However, it is not flashing off the same. Eh, it's starting to, but it is definitely leaving a bit more streak, like it's leaving something behind quite well. So um, there's actually quite a bit of haze into this thing right now. Let me grab my phone real quick. And hopefully you guys can see that there, you can see all this kind of hazing and streaking left behind. So now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the towel and buff it out. Okay, it's coming up for sure, but it's taking a little bit of work. This is definitely not as easy to apply as the ceramic one was. And we are all set. Now, I will say none of these feel super slick right now. None of them feel um, as slick as the ceramic detail spray does. Just go ahead and feel it this way. Yeah, definitely not. Middle one, nope. And final side, nope. Okay, so all of these went on well. They flashed off pretty easily. For sure, the easiest flash off was the three in one, followed by the ceramic uh, spray coating. The one that had the most issue removing was the graphene by far, like by far, by far. Um, the ceramic seemed to go on the thickest, but flashed off nicely. The graphene seemed to go on really thin, but then didn't flash off. So I don't know. We're going to see um, the protection of these properties, uh, of these different products over time. Again, I said I will be just driving this car and we'll test it in a few days. Um, I just wanted to cover the actual application of these products first um, and then go from there. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about price of these three different products really quickly because the ceramic spray coating is definitely a smaller bottle than the others. Um, the pricing at O'Reilly was definitely more expensive than what um, I'm seeing on Amazon. So if you get this, buy it on Amazon or possibly Walmart, maybe Walmart have a better price if they have it. Um, but so this 16 ounce bottle on Amazon current time at least is $12.97, which comes to about 81 cents per ounce. So pretty fantastic price there. The next one we'll look at is the graphene and it is the same price uh, at O'Reilly versus on Amazon. It's $24.99 for this 23 fluid ounce bottle. Um, I think I actually got it on sale at my local O'Reilly. I, I can't remember for sure, but I think it was like 16 bucks. Um, but anyways, uh, let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry, on, on Amazon it's 28.99. So just keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, we'll base it on that $25 price point. So you come in about a dollar nine an ounce. So definitely more expensive here. And then the last one, is the three in one and this is a 32 ounce bottle it looks all the same but this one's quite a bit thicker um, let me see the price on this on amazon so again with this product it's actually much cheaper on on amazon um, i paid 18 dollars for it at o'reilly on amazon it is currently on sale 12 dollars 97 cents for this 32 ounce bottle so price wise this is definitely the cheapest coming in at like 41 cents an ounce so again i think this one's going to be the winner as far as like what to keep in your car this for sure like if you if you get a bird dropping spray it down with this because it has all the polymers that'll help encapsulate the dirt and contamination and all that kind of stuff so you can wipe it away safely it's still leaving down some ceramic protection so i think this is a really good product i don't know if it's going to be as good as the other two since those are dedicated ceramic like spray coatings and this isn't um but we'll see so that's it guys again the hybrid solutions lineup for me, it, it's new to me. I know it's been around, tons of people have covered on YouTube, um, but for me, it's newer. I've always kind of strayed away from some of the generic consumer-based products like that for my business. It's like I buy in bulk, and um, so going with the professional-grade products are easier for me to get in bulk and bring my cost down, and I found ones that I love, so I always talk to you guys about those. However, like I said, with this product, it really surprised me, and it really sparked my interest in this whole lineup. So with those three, this is kind of just the first initial impression. We're gonna be testing this, uh, these three out on the hood, and um, I'm not gonna do a second coat of the ceramic spray coating yet, because I'm not looking for a year of protection out of it. I'm just looking to see how it performs compared to the rest. But that's it, guys, for today's video. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss the updates to this, and we'll see you on the next one.